All right, guys. Just hit 94 fletching. And of course, the goal is to be able to make the dragon darts, which is one level away. That is freaking nice. Cannot wait. I got 350 dragon dart tips. It's not much, but would definitely be exciting to use though once I actually have it. So, yeah, I mean, for crashing people. Oh, oh damn. Yo, that, that means we're gonna get a good draw from this raid. Double 61's respect, dude. There we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. What the heck? <laughs> Yo, I have my scroll thing all the way at the top, and then I scroll down. Oh, like, wow. Damn, dude. Placeholder up in the house, guys. That's my first ever placeholder ancestral piece. Yes, my second superior ever since coming back to Slayer, guys. And it is the Night Beast, so this is my first Dark Beast task uh, post-extension. Uh, so, yeah, we just started. So I have another good shot at getting another one, so that's really awesome. Let's see what we get. Cross fingers, boys. Oh, dude, absolutely nothing. Second kill. What we get? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh my god, Dark Beast again, dude. That's nice. So, I know that they expanded Dark Beast recently at the Catacombs. And, uh, yeah, I would love to go ahead and try that out, actually. Because you can also get totems too. Let's see how good it is now. Oh yes. Nice. Just got 83 thieving. <laughs> Still looking for this uh, scepter. I think I am uh, almost 5 hours into the grand uh, total. From the first time to today. Not bad though. You know getting some decent uh, thieving XP on the side too. From it. 277k to 84 thieving. Okay, so I just finished one task at the Catacombs of Dark Beast, and I gotta say, hmm, I guess it is a bit better than just killing them at regular uh, spots by the mourners area. The only downside is, though, is that there's only two, and it's not as AFK because there's only two. Sometimes you kill one too fast and the other one don't spawn, and a lot of times the Dark Beasts actually aggro people, you know, around like Fire Giants area, so. It's not as AFK, but still good enough, honestly. My first lucky imp on this character. Let's go. Yes, we caught it. Alright, moment of truth. Here we go. Let's check out the first lucky impling. Oh, tooth half. Okay, well, that's decent, I guess. I just wanted to, you know, catch my first impling, so... That was pretty exciting, I gotta admit. Oh my god, wow. Damn, dude, that is like the fifth time somebody has gotten a Pharaoh Scepter while I was grinding for mine. Oh man, it's a little demoralizing, you know, seeing uh, quite a few people getting it. But uh, hopefully, one of these guys show up for me soon enough. Good luck on Scepter, I did chess, only took me 30 hours. Fuck, yeah, I need to get the second one, bro. Oh, yes! Woohoo! Oh my god! Yes! Baby! Yes! Oh my god, dude. That worked out. Beautifully. Beautifully, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, as soon as my man Cup said that, I am so freaking glad that this grind here is finally over. So I believe it took me around 8 to 9 hours, somewhere in the middle, to get this second scepter. Just going for sarcophagus and uh, the grand uh, chest. At my level where I could do room 1 to, I believe, uh, 7. So this is great. I think that's probably somewhere around the average time. So yeah, that's awesome. But anyways, let's go ahead and... Uh, Finish up this master clue that I've had for like the past, I think, four to five days now. Feels good to finally be able to continue this master clue. And let's see what step this is here, guys. Step number four coming up. Looking good. A lot of hours was put into this grind here, guys. And we got the casket. Is it good? And unfortunately, it is not that great. Uh, just an honorable blessing. 
have tons of those. But uh, yeah, a little bit of disappointed, but you know, it's fine because the Feral Scepter is going to be useful throughout you know this character, especially for future Master Clues. So yeah, definitely looking forward to more. I also got a Hard Clue Scroll from some Slayer Task, I think, so uh, let's go ahead and pop that up. Oh my god, dude, we just got another Master Clue. What the heck, dude? That's like basically back to bad Master Clues, but I love this stuff, so... Yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh, check out this bad boy, see what's up with that reward. Alright, this Master Clue had no unexpected obstacles. Let's check it out. Ooh, wow, that was a pretty plain Master Clue Scroll reward. Definitely one of the most bland ones I've had thus far, but uh, yeah. It shouldn't get any worse than this, so it's fine. What is the drop for this kill? Oh shit, one of those gems again, man. So many rare drop table stuff, guys. Especially that Nature Talisman, but yo, I'll take the gems, man. Pretty good KC milestone here, guys. 350 for that death rune. Okay, not bad. Doing a bit more than I was uh, trying to go for this week, but hey, I was feeling a bit of corpse, so... Yeah, don't mind uh, putting in some extra. Always gonna want to hire KC for that uh, future uh, next sigil. Who knows when? Great news, guys. In terms of IRL, so I finished this spring semester of college. So that means summer is here, and that's great. Because now I can spend more time playing this game, not AFKing as much. I am enjoying Slayer a lot, so I l am looking forward to being able to actively do a lot of uh, the Slayer tasks. Mainly just bursting the task because I don't know what it is. It's just so fun about it, so rewarding and so quick. And of course, I have the new magic equipment. That's like one of the main reasons why I guess it's so fun. It's because I can dominate you know, th these type of Slayer tasks with like Kodai Wands and all that. So in terms of things that I want to get out of doing a Slayer would obviously be a chance at a Imbued Heart. That's the main one. And I guess the Eternal Slayer Gem's kind of cool too, but not really that important. And also since a lot of my favorite tasks are at the Catacombs, I guess I will also be looking out for some totems so I can, you know, go and kill some Scotizo. Bunch of uh, crazy Slayer updates came out like way after I got 99 Slayer on this account, so I never really you know got to enjoy that much on this account so i would love to be able to uh experience that on this account so it also connects with my armadale grind because i do get avncs on task so i guess i'll just uh slowly do armadale because i've been going pretty hard on armadale and i kind of need a break so being able to mix it up between slayer and grinding it when i get it on task for the hilt will also be a nice uh, change of pace I love the Explorer's Ring for 4 Bursting Nacrail tasks just because they drop so many root items that you normally can't pick them all up or you have to go and bank them which is a hassle but with the Explorer's Ring 4 you can stay there one trip and you're able to ALK with the Explorer's Ring 30 times a day without being on the spellbook so you can be on Ancient Lunar it doesn't matter it'll still work. First superior of the Nacrail task and let's see what we get let's go baby. Alright, I know about the totems guarantee, but yeah, nothing else. Lin's Bulwark is perfect for mobbing Necrozz, as you can see, because the room is so small. So you can basically spec any of the Necrozz from anywhere in this room and it'll get all of them. Whereas like Dust Devil, the room is much bigger, so you have to like precisely lure one of them to the middle for the Dins to like mob all of them. Here, no effort whatsoever. Third superior of this task, guys. That's freaking crazy. And we just get the uh, regular stuff. But yo, I just created a, a full totem. So from one task, that's pretty interesting. Just finished first Negril task, barraging. And I am interested to see the XP rates. Oh my goodness, man. 200k XP an hour. And that's including, you know, the times that I wasn't bursting, just killing the superiors. And also that Slayer XP rate, basically 80k, dude, an hour. That's ridiculous man slayer in general definitely has gone so much faster with this ability to uh, burst <laughs> these tasks man and i got an avnc's task quite unexpectedly man wow dude okay i guess the uh, armadale hill grind continues now i ran out chins just now so i'm gonna try to clutch this with a barrage and uh, hopefully we get the kill all right we did that's nice and that is uh, a beautiful number right there 550 for the uh last kill of this armadale task i actually finished it quite a bit earlier but i decided to stay but yes we are a bit over the uh, drop rate of the hilt now which is unfortunate and the only thing i got that was kind of noticeable was just two emeralds honestly not even anything noticeable 
I actually did get a hard clue from the Armadel task, so uh, let's go ahead and see what the reward is like. Ooh, got thick dragon hide a body. Okay, I'm pretty sure I don't have that, man. All right, let's check it out, guys. Yep, I don't have it, and I'm pretty sure that is a set right there, dude. Wow, that's awesome, man. Full Guthix D high set, including the boots. Hey, that's it's beautiful. I can definitely uh, put this into my house. It'll uh, look nice in that collection, you know, and also save me some uh, bank space. So that's really cool. I didn't notice this until somebody pointed this out, but I also have Ceradomin D high set as well. Turns out you don't need the Ceradomin. Uh, DI boots who have the set you can just put them in with the four pieces so that's really cool and also you can just put the DI boots by themselves into your planner house without any other uh, sets so that's freaking crazy dude I'm just saving myself amazing amounts of bank space and also you know making my uh, treasure chest look even more pimping so the last kill of this corporal beast uh, session for okay spirit shield that's uh, the only interesting thing that I've gotten today, but uh, yeah, just more spirit shields. Way too many at this point for what I really need, but I will take that. Slowly getting to 400 KC, maybe by next week. Tactile's got some really glitchy animations sometimes when you're not in the room and he's uh, active. Like, as you can see, he was just fishing like crazy. But yeah, that's just kind of funny, I thought. Nice, we got another superior. First one today. Although it is only a cave horror one, so the chances of rare stuff isn't as high, but yeah. Oh, right. It's always exciting, though, to get a superior. Okay, let's try out my chance on second superior of the day. Anything good? Ah, uh, at least I get those insult heads. I'm going to be wrapping up today's video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed the progress as usual so I am bringing back uh, quite a variety of uh, content that I haven't been doing much in a long time such as the Slayer and now that I can actively work on Slayer it's gonna be quite interesting you know might see an imbue heart or something in the future and also I have some skilling plans uh, that I want to do in the near future especially next week I wanna try to get the 89 smithing or 88 smithing because I can boost with the uh, Dwarven Stout really easily to make rune darts. I really want those for mainly raids and of course Zora when I uh, go and get some more supplies. So that's gonna be extra content on top of obviously my uh, bossing content, trying to finish up more of those raids and Corp and uh, God Wars and whatnot. So if you are new to the series and you want to stay up to date with videos from this channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys soon with another video in hopefully a few days. Take care and bye bye.